G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, today I'm going to have a quick look at Adam. We know Level Earth Observer, he's, he is largely irrelevant these days. He really doesn't have much to say. He was ambitious at one stage. Well, when he started out in his career, he said, Oh, look, I really want to get to the greatest heights I can in the construction industry. And his boss said, Fine, Adam, go drive the crane. These guys need to do at least 25,000 miles an hour. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on with you, Adam. Why are you making all these errors? Are you just getting too lazy? How did you get 25,000 miles per hour in low Earth orbit? Come on, Adam, you know the ISS goes at 17,100 miles per hour to stay in orbit. Are you just not even trying anymore, mate? To escape cannonball Earth. And of course, they'll go up to 240 plus miles to supposedly join the ISS. No, Adam, escaping the planet means you're leaving the planet. The ISS is in orbit around the planet held captive by the gravitational field. I thought you knew all this stuff, mate. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. This is a charade, a show. To go alongside with firework displays, CGI, hairspray commercials, Airfix model fetishes and plenty of super glue. Dear oh dear. And then I also got a bit of an issue with your whole airfix thing. It seems like you really don't know airfix anyway. I mean, who uses a cyanoacrylate as a glue? Surely you should be using methyl ethyl ketone, MEK. That's what I would do. I mean, you're not going to get high off of cyanoacrylates, are you? Come on, Adam, you're going to have to do better. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on but strangely enough if you actually go to space you don't need that you just need a pantomime costume and adam why do they need to be in a pressure suit when they're inside the uh, most advanced capsule seems like that will do all the uh, pressurizing for you so i think your point is a little bit wackadoodle there mate i don't entirely know exactly what's going on you two pilots wear this space suit to protect them. Should they lose cabin pressure, their blood will boil. Oh, and Adam, you also got that whole blood will boil in space without a space suit a bit wrong. I think you've been watching too much TV, mate. Okay, I've got a question for the astute listener. You find yourself having listened to the third anthology of Vogue on Poetry. The guard grabs you and drags you off down the hallway with your compatriot. You're tossed into the airlock. What do you do? Well, quite simple, really. You breathe out and take your pants off. And if you want to know why, stay listening. Would you like a hug? No. Space, says the introduction to the Hitchhiker's Guide, is big really big. You just won't believe how vastly, hugely, mind-bogglingly big it is, uh, and so on. Okay, so from my extensive study, using the at least these three videos in the link below, and they are really excellent ones on this subject, I have determined that what will happen is you will suffer a Mentos in Coca-Cola effect from both ends of the elementary canal at the moment you hit the vacuum of space, and that's hence why you need to get your pants down real quick and of course breathe out because the air is going to disappear out your lungs real quick too so it seems like you've got like 15 seconds before you pass out so you've got to hurry up with all of those things and from the research on some of these poor doggies and chimps and whatever else there's a couple of accidents that have happened it seems like you've got somewhere between about 90 seconds and three minutes to be repressurized and if you are Apart from a few broken capillaries in your eyes and a few space hickeys, you're probably going to be pretty much okay. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. I want to show you how YouTube is trying to defend globe believers from getting spanked and served up on my channel simply by blocking them. In this case, we've got Professor Phil Bell. Phil, well-known globagandist. As I've mentioned in the past, I quite like Phil, despite his beliefs. Yeah, Adam, I see you had a bit of problems unblocking Professor Phil. 
Well, how about you try unblocking me? Look, I'll make you a deal, mate. I'll only ever make one comment per video, and I'll be nice and polite. So if all your subs want to, you know, rag on me, they can. It won't worry me at all. Yeah, actually, it will help you because it actually tickles the algorithm. You get all that good interaction going, mate. This is what you really need. I do have to thank you, Adam. I didn't even know, have a Scooby-Doo on how to do blocking or unblocking, but apparently if you want to know about blocking and unblocking subs, always go and look at Flat Earthers. I mean, these guys are the expert when it comes to censoring and blocking. Anyway, Adam, I'll leave you with this final thought. Thanks, mate.